Cheerio? Kunai. It's up. So, another type of spinning kick uh, that isn't actually related to the regular spinning hook kick or the spinning wheel kick is the tornado kick. So, this time uh, it involves both spinning and jumping. So, uh, the way you want to practice it at first is in two steps. First, you're going to turn to your back. So, I'm going this way. I'm going to lift up my back leg and set it down in front of me. And then it's an inward cracking kick with the other leg. So when I practice it at first, I'm going to turn to my back, lift, and set it down, and then inward crescent kick. So from the side, just like this, one, and two. So you can practice these a few times on each side, um, maybe five times each, ten times each. And um, if you want to stop there, that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is an advanced kick, so for a lot of people, until you build up more flexibility and more balance and coordination, um, this will be a great place to start. Um, but if you do want to try to start doing it airborne, uh, this is how. So instead of setting it down, you're still coming around and kicking. So the only difference is that you're not setting it down. If I come around, so at full speed, it's going to look like this. Sorry, I forgot to take these off. So at full speed, I'm lifting, turning to my back, lift, and kick. So it's very important that you don't try to come off the ground too early. As you can see, I'm lifting it around, and then right around here, I jump and do the kick. So it's not a full jump all the way through, unless you're very good at spinning very fast. So you just want to come around, lift, and kick. Okay. Make sure your hands stay up still. Uh, it's a hard kick, but you always want to keep your hands up. So that's the tornado kick, um, because it's like a tornado, you're spinning around all the way, and then a kick. And there are two other types of tornado kick that you can practice if you want to. Um, one of them is a tornado roundhouse kick. So this time, instead of the inward crescent kick, this time it's a turning kick. So in the tornado roundhouse kick, it's going to be one, and turning kick. So one, and turning kick. So this is still a good, powerful kick, uh, just as much spin, and now you're doing it with uh, the ball of your foot. So when I kick, it looks like this. More like this. Sorry, that wasn't a very good one. So that's the tornado roundhouse kick or tornado turning kick. And there's one more version. Um, I personally don't like it very much, but you might be required to know it um, as you get more and more advanced. I only had to do it. Uh, I think my uh, black stripe and black belt promotions, so you will eventually need to know it. But uh, these last two kicks are mostly just for the more advanced students. And that is the tornado front kick. So the reason I don't like this one is because at first you're spinning, and then you're kicking straight out in front of you. Um, so it doesn't seem to make sense to me. Um, but it can still be pretty powerful, and it's a good kick to uh, show off your uh, technique and your skill. So, once again, coming around and kick. So if I want to do the kick, so I come around and front kick. And kick. And the front kick. So, once again, this one's a little bit more difficult, so it's the last one. 
um, but you want to practice those. Mm -hmm. um, once you get higher and higher rank, you're getting ready for your uh, higher promotions. Uh, it's a good kick to know, and it's also fun to do. So uh, those are a few different ways to do tornado kick. Um, for the students who aren't super advanced yet, uh, just start out with two-step tornado kick and eventually the regular tornado kick. Uh, for the students who are more advanced, you can go on to those other two. Shiga? Kune. Yes, sir. Thank you.